another video and today we're going to talk about the products that I've been using that I've been loving so far. I feel like I go back and forth like sometimes I do favorites videos and then I'm just like no. No. Uh, I don't care. My best friend. Oh my god. You've noticed like probably in the last two, three, four, maybe even five videos I have been using this Felicia Leatherwood brush. I am obsessed. I am in love. Like I, I wish I would have got black because sometimes when I see my hair in here, I'm like, girl, you need to clean this. But I look, this brush is everything. Like it's not harsh on my hair at all. Like I said in plenty of videos, I used to use the fake uh, Dimmon brush from CVS, and that was girt up a girt. That was tearing my hair all the way out. This does not like it is so gentle, and even when I use it, like I, I think I detangle in the shower anyway. And even when I'm putting in my leave-in after the shower, I still finger detangle a little bit. So this just gets like the last, ugh, like the last little bit of tangles that could possibly be in my hair. I just, uh. Yo, I'm going to buy another one just as a backup because if anything ever happens to this, like I, I'm going to lose it. Y'all let me know if you have tried the Felicia Leatherwood brush and if you love it because I obsess, okay? Obsessed. The next product I'm going to talk about, which you guys are probably going to be surprised that I'm still using, is the Blue Magic. This is the Mango and Lime Leave-In Conditioner. When I used it in that video, I was so shocked. I forgot that Blue Magic worked for me back in the day. When I was just a little young thing, Blue Magic was that and pink lotion, hot six oil. Like that's honestly all that I knew. And it worked. Like my hair was super long, super thick. So look, I've been using this up. It makes my hair so soft. Like I love it. And it's like what? five dollars if even depending on where you find it at um but i got this from a local beauty supply store and i've been enjoying it i've been using it up and the smell the smell is so potent so if you're not like into scents don't even bother but if anybody out there has been thinking should i try blue magic again Leave-in conditioner is bad, girl. I have also been killing my Tresemme. This is the Flawless Curls Curl Hydration with vitamin B1. When I say kill, I mean like murder, murder, kill, kill. Like I've been killing this conditioner. Um, I've been wanting to try it as a leave-in. I don't know. Like every time I think I'm going to try it as a leave-in, I'll be like, Girl, I'm just using it as a conditioner for right now. So I have not done that yet. But when I tell you that this makes your hair feel so freaking soft, like so freaking soft. And y'all know with Trust May, I think this was probably like $5 for 32. I think it's 32, right? Oh, 39, girl. 39 fluid ounces for this. I don't see this everywhere. Definitely Target. Um, I think think I've seen it in Walmart but I'm not sure but yo this buy it okay you will not regret spending like five dollars on this because it is so good I've also been using this if y'all been following me for a while you know that this is like one of my faves this is the Jamaican black castor oil strengthen and grow lock and braid butter with shea butter and peppermint peppermint um, I am, I'm like done so with this. Like, I'm so upset. But it's one of, I gotta say, this might be, no, this is definitely in my top five of favorite Shea Moisture products along with the Manuka Honey DC and the High Pri Priority, High Porosity DC. Then comes this, like, I love this stuff so much and I've just, like I use it as a moisturizer and 
it makes your hair feel so soft and it does have like quite a hold because I use it by itself I don't pair it with a gel or anything like that and I live I live real quick so you guys know that I just talked about this this is the products from the main choice exotic kool-aid line the leave-in conditioner I am done like can you, you probably can't even well yeah you can see a little bit like that's just product on the side but I'm like completely done so got another one let me tell you I've had people say that they did not like the leave-in condition I'm just like what like the slip on that leave-in is so good it is I I love like I feel like that is gonna be a product that I am going to buy continuously because it is just really that good. I also tried the prickly pear leave-in conditioner which I didn't have in the video that I did and I really like this one too but I think that the exotic Kool-Aid line has a little more slip but they are both bomb like they are both really good like clearly you can tell I've been killing them um I like I like them both I really am a product junkie y'all like please forgive me also the oil from the exotic kool-aid line I love this because it's like it does not give you like that one line spray it gives you like an actual spray like let me see if I can test it on camera see if you can tell like okay okay I like look at that sh baby look at that now it's making the rest of my hair look all dusty and faded even though I know it is I love that oil spray like it is just literally everything <laughs> I love it I really really love it the last main choice product is the shampoo this is from the exotic kool-aid line the slip, that oil smells so good. Oh my gosh. Um, the slip on that shampoo is great, which slip shampoo, what? Yes, it is so good. It makes my scalp feel good. It gives you like that ultra, like just, it gives you that my scalp is minty fresh right now. Like, like minty fresh and I love it like I love that it has a nozzle on the top but I don't use it I pour it right into my hands put it in my hair that's how I use it um but it's cute for you know what I'm saying people that love a little nozzle but I okay. the next product is by Carol's daughter and this is the cocoa cream this is the coil enhancing moisture butter oh, I love this stuff um i picked it up from walmart this is 15 ounces i picked it up from walmart for i think like ten dollars they have so they have another i don't get it they have one at target that's less ounces the same name but the packaging is different and it's more expensive like what like what but i really really love this i highly recommend it like my hair feels so soft like it gives hold two at the same time i i really i don't even see that many people talking about it i know they also have like a shampoo and a conditioner i don't know if there's like a leave-in with the line but i just wanted them oh there's a mask too um but i just wanted this one and i love like this is this is so bomb this is so bomb. Like, so the other products that I have really been loving is by Allocate Naturals. And it is the leave-in conditioner and also the Hold It Styling Gel. A lot of people have been saying that this is giving them Vaseline vibes. And I just, I just don't get it. Like, I, I really, and I'm not even trying to be funny, I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. I'm just like, what Vaseline are y'all using? I've paired this with a couple of things so far that I really, really love. I've paired it with the 
um, Carol's Daughter. I love that combination. I've also paired it with Melanin Hair Care. I love that combination. I feel like I paired it with something else. Um, oh, duh, the butter that, duh, the butter that came with the collection, I also paired it with that, and I really like it. Like, I don't have any issues with this product whatsoever. I feel like it gives me the hold. It's not super hard and, like, crunchy, crunchy, so, I mean, my hair had movement every time I used it and paired it with, like, creams and butter, so I, I don't know. A lot of people seem to not like this stuff, and I feel like I'm the only one that likes it, but I like the silent gel, so whatever. So yeah, you guys, that is it for this video. I just wanted to come real quick and show you some of the things that I've been loving, because I know every time I don't make a video on every new thing that I'm using, um, or show you the products that I'm actively using, like, really often, yo, I... I have been killing these two. I can honestly say I've been killing these two as a shampoo and a conditioner, and I have been killing the um, Cocoa Cream by Carol's Daughter. Like, those are the ones that I've been ODing on. My product junkieism is so bad. Like, I, the other day, I was like really looking for stuff to buy. I was like, why isn't anything new coming out? Like. I need something new. <laughs> I'm crazy. So let me know what are the products that you have been going to constantly in January and February. Because I want to know because I am interested in trying new products as always. So definitely let me know what you guys suggest. And yeah, you guys, I will talk to you all very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video.